Hello ladies and gentlemen, dear sweet subscribers. Welcome to Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with various things that float to the forefront of my mind. As promised, I'm going to tell a little story about, um, I'm, I think I'll do the baby book breakdown later, only because I want to show you the visual of that, and I'm, I'm in my outdoor studio. By the way, I lost a subscriber. I'm starting to get, I don't know, first of all, why are people so obsessed with subscribers? Now I find myself being obsessed with subscribers. How many do I have? How many likes? Hit likes. Subscribe. What difference does it really make? Okay. As long as I have my core viewing audience, I'm good. All right. Back when I um, got pregnant by mistake, actually, my husband had had a vasectomy and it failed. And we put the letter from the doctor in the baby book. So there were a couple of showers held for me and so forth. And... I really didn't know what anything was. I thought a onesie was the same as a t-shirt, you know, all that jazz. But I got some really interesting things, and my friend Mick came down uh, the next day after the shower or something, and we were rooting through all of the really cutesy bootsy, oh, God, love, uh, baby stuff, and and he, I'm trying to really kind of get, be still. Okay. We were rooting through everything, and I had this really neat night light. Um, I think it had a moon and a little boy blue sleeping in it. Is he the one that did the moon deal? I don't know. And we just started, first of all, trying to open it, which we had to um, call up to Hyde's Garage and get the Jaws of Life to open the damn packaging because that's the way it goes with this plastic stuff. And it's hermetically sealed. Crazy stuff. We finally broke into it madly after calling in a team of experts. And we, we just... We're reading the uh, warning label. I'm wondering, there's a warning label on this adorable nightlight for the child. It actually said this, ladies and gentlemen. Now, okay. It actually said, this is not a substitution for child care. Let that sink in, please. Time's up. Like, in who in their right mind whatever just oh my plans for the weekend are totally shot uh we were just gonna leave the baby here uh with the night light in charge but since the warning label told us not to i guess we can't go to aunt minnie's wedding it's unbelievable what not a substitution for child care come on give me a break ladies and gentlemen it was just the craziest thing so there's the story of the warning label on the nightlight. Do not substitute for child care. Absolute crazed insanity in this delightful country in which we live. That's all. Signing off. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me losing subscribers every time I sign back on.